good to see you. All right, everyone. Welcome back to another episode in the Road to 100. Um, here we are in the Provisional Government Center outskirts, um, and uh, we will be wanting to be cautious, but uh, we will be uh, experiencing. Um, a little bit different of a uh, run here this evening as uh, everything here in the government center is weak to slash and uh, and lightning so we will be running Jupiter's blade uh, and the two uh, slash non-elemental um, dark gift abilities since we're continuing our dark run uh, so we'll be running sands of depravity and volatile storm as these two have uh, really really big 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 AOE abilities um, and also, uh, they have fairly cheap I-Core cost, while at the same time um, doing massive damage. Now, since we're going to be running Hunter, uh, we have a fairly low um, health pool at uh, 2862 from Vow of i -Core to reduce our health by 10% down to uh, 2862. And uh, if we look at our regeneration ability here from uh, improved regeneration and regeneration shift we're going to have 1.8 times 1.4 times 1050 is going to be 2646 on one regeneration use and we have 2862 so minus 2862 so we are short by 216 health uh, to restore our entire health bar in uh, one regeneration um, and since we have augmented regeneration, we will uh, be able to also continuously run um, 10 regenerations instead of uh, the 8 from regeneration shift, because this is a minus 2, this is a plus 2, and so we get um, a total uh, amount of health that we can heal will be 26,000, uh, hang on, yeah, 26,460 total health that we could recover uh, plus the rege regen inducers um, so we have about 30,000 health that we can totally uh, refill um, no matter what we get into it's just if we have the ability to actually cast um, each of those regenerations so this will be all about keeping us alive our passives and our actives will be all about doing the uh, massive damage that uh, can come out of this. We have the Ivory Grace Devour, uh, simply because this will be getting us about, um, let's see, about 12 and a half, 13 I Core on a backstab, which will be uh, very critical to maintaining uh, all of our buffs up here. Also, we'll be running the Blazing Claw uh, in a Devour state, so we have more uh, drain rating as well. And that also takes us right to exactly 40 out of 80, so we maintain quick mobility on the Hunter. And also the Riot Breaker intensified, or sorry, fortified uh, to keep us under that 40 pounds. Um, we could also go for the Argent Wolf Bayonet uh, Devour or Intensified or any other variant of that as well. Uh, so we could do that as opposed to this. Uh, now, because these are both uh, piercing, uh, sorry, the, um, the shots are piercing, uh, so they don't do exceptional damage. But the Riot Breaker, as you see here, its only attack type is a Slash whereas the Argent Wolf Bayonet is a crush and pierce. So this would be weak to the enemies in the area. The Riot Breaker is strong with the actual weapon attack. Um, so we could be using this as well. This matches our outfit very well. Uh, the Blazing Claw, not so much. So uh, we are donning the red and black um, abilities here of our uh, look this evening. So we'll go ahead and get our things up. And the great thing about Volatile Storm is it hits enemies behind cover. And we can go for a backstab and we'll see how many we get back. Okay, so about 12. And we get about 2 or 3 on, a, uh, on an attack. So um, every time we use um, a Dark Shout as well, that also uh, increases our um, drain ability on our weapon. So we'll go for another backstab here. So you see that uh, in a group setting, um, we have um, more than enough damage to be able to take down any enemy in front of us. So we'll go for Dark Shout so we get more i Drain. And we'll see what she's doing. Okay, we get a backstab. And then we will go for a Sands of Depravity. 
as that has a very long um, animation cast. And a Jupiter's Blade. There we go. So we saved ourselves and Mia right there. So that's good. We'll get the video game. Uh, now the retro game is for Rin. Anything to do with games is for Rin back at uh, home base. So this is where this kind of a build comes in extremely handy. We can kill the gunner and we can encourage her to come over this way without the gunners. And since we have a lot of i -Corp, we can continue to damage her. Um, all the way up until she gets here and so uh, we can kind of take it easy on this part in in that kind of regards and we'll go for a backstab and recover a lot of our i cord here so uh, remember you want to be doing as many slash gifts as you can in this area you don't want to be doing uh, most other types of damage so we'll uh, head on up here and we'll go for dark shout and we'll go for a Sands of Depravity since it's more damage. Okay, we'll get a backstab on her. That's kind of a lucky backstab. Um, so now um, we will finish her off with our slashes from the Blazing Claw. Okay, and let's go ahead and switch to the Riot Breaker. And let's get our other buffs going here. So the Riot Breaker comes in at a 0.76, so it's pretty, pretty horrible uh, drain rating. So let's go ahead and um, increase some of our drain here and some of our mobility as uh, uh, we're coming up to the dogs here. Now we want to kill the dogs quickly and effectively. And the Riot Breaker has um, uh, a continuous slashing, um, a continuous slashing pattern. Um, so that's really great that we can um, continuously move towards the enemy. Um, as well as uh, uh, doing damage as we continuously move forward on the enemy. So we can advance and we can continuously attack and we can dodge out of the way um, no matter how uh, is, is effective for us. So we go for Sands of Depravity when we have the ability to um, uh, get up on the enemy. Okay, uh, simply because we, um, we need time to be able to get the cast off. Okay. Good job, Mia. Okay, let's pick up uh, Tungsten here. And now we are out of i completely, uh, so we're going to have to uh, take our time here with the dogs that are coming up. So we'll go for another Drain Activator. We'll go for more stamina so we can uh, attack the dogs and burst them down a little bit. And the, um, the shot pattern from the Riot Breaker is a is a shotgun style, however, um, it uh, kind of is a very interesting uh, pattern as it, um, as it uh, is a very short range. See, we can't even hit the dog from here, but uh, that's okay. We'll go for Hunting Feast. So you have to be right up on the enemy, and uh, if you are, it does uh, about about a thousand damage if they're uh, weak to it um, so it's not like insane amounts of damage um, but it does uh, it does do a, a good stagger and it is a piercing attack just like the Thunderbolt so that's also very good okay so we go for this and this guy is gonna dance around so we'll get up on him and we can shoot him so you can see there it does about 2500 to him so it's not extreme damage but uh, Okay, we're going to um, go up the ladder. Now we got damage, so we can heal once, and we're almost back to full, so that's really great. And we'll go for a uh, Volatile Storm on her, and we'll get a Drain. Oh. There we go. And we'll get a drain uh, Backstab on her. So I'm glad we got hit there. Uh, so we can heal up from that and you see that uh, between regeneration shift and um, Improved regeneration we get uh, massive amounts of health back um, So we don't need a whole lot of uh, health regens, but if you're having issues um, You know picking up 
uh, health here and there, then this is a great way to go about um, getting extra health when you need it. Okay, so let's go for um, more gifts here to uh, get ourselves up. And we, we again have to go for uh, the ladder, uh, since uh, we investigated our anti-gravity abilities last time, and that didn't go so well. So um, here we'll let her... Okay. Okay. And is she going to do the swing? Nope. So we'll backstab her, get some i back. And we'll go for another Jupiter's Braid. Jupiter's Blade. Oh, sorry. Oops. Okay. And another Jupiter's Blade to finish her off. Good. And uh, now these fellas over here are giving us some uh, issues, but uh, it shouldn't be anything we can't handle. So running, running this area, adventuring with the, um, with this kind of a setup gives us a great ability to do long distance uh, kind of engagements while at the same time being able to do uh, pretty good damage up front um, regardless of uh, what enemy we come across. Okay, and uh, we're doing pretty well so far. Now, uh, if you do happen to have uh, extra stocks of regen factors, um, then you can use them along the way here and that increases um, they're worth picking up every time you go through the game so you have um, you know extra along the way so you can continuously uh, use them in, in the heat of battle now we're just going to slash the monkey down here to get more i core back and we're up to 10 so that's really good let's see if we can get a backstab here good and we'll go for the dark shout and a sands of depravity if we can get it off nope Okay, and we'll uh, Jupiter's Blade her down. Okay, so now we heal once, and we're almost right back to full. So uh, this is where, um, you know, these uh, bonuses on your uh, on your healing come in really help, uh, helpful and handy, since you don't need to uh, continuously waste um, regen factors over and over and over. You just use one, and you're right back to full, so you effectively have uh, 10 health bars. Okay. And we'll just hit this guy. Oh, we missed him. Okay, so let's go for a backstab and get um, our i core back. And let's run out of here. Oh. Okay. And uh, let's uh, go for a volatile storm on this guy. Oh boy. Oh, no way. I dodged at the wrong time. Sorry, Mia. So uh, if you can get them to group up together, uh, then one. Uh, Sands of Depravity uh, should take them down about half health, and uh, Volatile Storm will take them the rest of the way. You're away. Yep. Can you see me? Okay, so we are right back here at the beginning, and uh, this is why you always go for the ladder uh, as soon as you can, because um, I got 140 Maybe we should try rethinking haze. Um, okay, I'll take 140 haze for nothing uh that's kind of odd but okay um now uh we're out of stamina here with the monkey but mia's gonna help us out considerably uh so um the really great thing about uh running these early uh early game uh blood codes is that um you uh you don't really get to use them too much past uh, the beginning of the game. So seeing them here in the later stages uh, up against some of the toughest enemies that you come across in the game, it, uh, it really helps to uh, show the effectiveness that uh, if, you build the if you build the code in a certain way, uh, it can also be effective where it may have not been effective earlier. Okay, so now let's go for her. And Dark Shout ran out, of course. Good job, Mia. I want her to come over here. Good. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, we're dead again. Okay. Uh, but as you see, because we are running the Ivory Grace, uh, we have almost zero resistances to any kind of damage. Um, so this is, this is a real problem 
when you're um, when you're facing these tough enemies that do massive amounts of damage in uh, one hit or so. So we'll make our way back and pick up our haze. But as you can see, uh, if we have the ability to get our gifts off, um, to be able to execute them correctly and effectively, then we most certainly have a good ability to uh, do the damage we need to do. Okay. And let's switch back to the uh, Blazing Claw. There we go. And let's uh, head on in here. What? That caught me? Hmm. Okay. I don't know what's going on here, but okay. Let's go for a Sands of Depravity. Wow. That was, uh, that was rough. So let's go ahead and heal. That'll put us at full. So uh, that's the prop. That's the um, the issue with running um, the Ivory Grace is that it's a very high risk, high reward kind of a blood veil, since uh, you take um, extra damage from everybody basically because uh, it's a very very weak uh, blood veil for um, for uh, damage resistances. Oh. Okay, let's get a launch. I'll take it. And we'll, we'll uh, finish her off with a Jupiter's Blade. Okay, let's hit this guy with a um, uh, Volatile Storm. Let's go ahead and heal. And let's go for a Gift Accelerator and a Drain. And more stamina. Since the uh, Blazing Claw has a 4 slash uh, combo attack. Um, it uh, is not the uh, greatest of uh, weapons to uh, ensure that you are uh, continuously putting damage output onto the enemy, but uh, it does it does pretty good damage, but again you have to be careful of that fourth uh, weapon strike. And uh, where's our, our friend sneaking around in the background here? There we go. Okay, and let's go for a uh, Sands of Depravity. Okay, and a Hunting Feast. And we'll backstab her and go for a Jupiter's Blade. There we go. Now we need another backstab if we can. Good. Uh, since she is a very, very dangerous uh, foe here in this area, um, you don't want to give her any kind of um, ability to do anything, otherwise uh, your day will be ruined um, in short order. Okay, and uh, here she comes. Okay, let's give her a Jupiter's Blade. Oh boy. No, no, no. Uh, sorry Mia, push the wrong button. I knew it, I, I was not a four, that was definitely a five. Oh, unfortunate. Mia, I'm failing you miserably. No, we're going hard and we're going all the way. Okay, so um, with the Blazing Claw, even though we do have a uh, quick mobility, that's uh, very good for dodging in and out. But again, you see that our one-handed um, dexing ability is not exactly uh, through the roof of any kind. Um, so we do have uh, some damage output issues. But uh, again, remember, uh, running uh, Hunter, um, it's, uh, it's doing very, very well. Oop. There we go. We'll stagger her around with that. We'll save Mia from that uh, dashing slash there that she does. Let's go for another Jupiter's Blade, and we'll cut her down. Good. Now again, uh, when you're running something uh, that's a dark gifting ability uh, setup and you come across these uh, enemies, you have to make sure that you uh, do as much damage as, as humanly possible or revenantly possible simply because of the fact that um, you know you, you, uh, do, you do a lot of damage. Oh. Okay, let's go ahead and heal. Yeah, you heal up too, Mia. 
that was a little bit of a botched uh, encounter there. So let's go for some backstabs on this guy and refill our i -core. Now, um, we, could, we could be going for, obviously, other things, but since this area is weak to slash, um, I wanted to show um, all of the slashing abilities that uh, are pretty good in this area. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a drain while we can, so we keep our i -core high. And we'll cut her down with the Jupiter's blade. And uh, let's uh, go ahead and pay a visit here to her with uh, Sands of Depravity and a Volatile Storm. And uh, we'll get this up. And if she ever decides to do anything, uh, we will uh, hit her with a Jupiter's Blade directly after this. And hopefully get another backstab, or just a kill. Okay, good. Okay, so now here we go up into this area. And we will... Um, see our friend come in here and we'll go for Sands of Depravity if we can get it off in time good and a backstab and a Jupiter's Blade should uh, finish it there we go good okay so you can see that uh, if we if we have everything kind of in order and uh, and uh, up up to uh, snuff here then we can most certainly um, put out the damage that we need to but uh, we definitely need to make sure that we are, um, you know, equipped and ready for whatever's coming after us. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, good. Now, uh, I always want to be going for a backstab simply because of the fact that um, uh, if we don't have eye for it, I mean, we're just completely dead. Thanks, Mia. Uh, so Mia's kind of the star of the show here. Uh, if we... Um, <laughs> If we uh, have to admit it, simply because of the fact that, uh, you know, every time she uh, does any kind of damage, um, she's helping us out significantly. So let's go ahead and heal. And uh, in this with the in this fight with the, um, what's his face, um, the Queen's Knight Reborn, we're going to be wanting to go for as cheap i uh, recovery as we can, and we won't have any block, and we will uh, be a, a one-hit kill on everything that this guy will do. Um, so we're going to be in a really bad way. So we need to fill up on this guy as uh, with as much i as we can. Oops. So we'll go for as many backstabs here. Okay. Good job, Mia. With, uh, since uh, the Argent, uh, the Cerberus uh, Wolf, the Cerberus group, troop, um, they're weak to pierce. Uh, bayonet friends such as Mia and... Um, Eva, they do exceptionally well. We're almost to the government site. Mm -hmm. Now this guy, he's weak to slash and lightning and ice. Uh, so we have slash and lightning. Uh, so we have his weakness. Um, but uh, now the question remains of can we execute or not. So we will uh, definitely give it our best attempts here. As well, we always do. Um, some are better than others. So let's go up here and get a little bit of i -core. Okay, let's see what he's going to do. Okay, so he's a... Oh, he's a quick little... He's a quick one. Oops. Okay. So you can see there that we do uh, pretty good damage. Uh, so let's go ahead and heal. See, Mia's doing, um, oh, we're dead. Mia's doing, uh, ice attacks because she knows the weakness of the boss as well. Okay. Oh, that, that back, back AoE of his is horrible. Okay, so let's go ahead and heal. Um, and let's go for a Sands of Depravity when we can. Oh. That, that was not the time to go for it. This is the time to go for i -core recovery. Okay, Sands of Depravity. Oh, I had no stamina. Okay, thanks, man. She's dead, so I'll heal her. Good. 
Let's go ahead and heal. And see we get back to full um uh full health on uh, oh boy. Okay, let's go ahead and get the blazing claw. Oh since we need more I core. Oh, I'm dead. Mia? Thank you. Oh, Mia's dead. Um, okay. Uh... Oh boy. Um... Yep. So you see there at the beginning, if we have the ability to actually, um get off uh, several of the volatile storms and sands of depravities uh, we can definitely make him pay uh, in, in, a, in a big way so but the uh, really okay. problem comes from dark shout that it takes time to cast so we're gonna go for hunting feast uh, since the riot breaker um, is not having a good time doing the slashing so we'll go for the devour version um, since it does um, a better uh, slashing pattern than the um, than the uh, Blazing Claw. So we'll go for some Icor back on this guy. Or, uh, sorry, uh, we'll increase our cap off of this guy. And uh, one more. That should get us uh, pretty close uh, to up here. There we go. 43, I'll take that. And uh, we'll lose 24 off of uh, Mia's Communal. So that should put us at 19 uh, left over to run our other gifts. Uh, so we should maybe go for um, some um, uh, sac blood sacrifice. Mia, where did you go? Oh, she's off doing the, the runs again where she goes and fights people. Uh, this should be interesting. Okay, we can go ahead and heal uh, since we have a massive amount of uh, health regen. There we go. And we'll go for this and this. Mia, I know you're off doing great things over there, but it would be great if you were um, over here. Now in the event that this guy kills us, um, he will be going after Mia like that. And uh, he's gonna run away from the arena. Okay, we've broken him. It's always a lot of fun. Whoops, that's not the gift I wanted. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and fill up on i here. There we go. Okay, good. We can get uh, two gifts off here. Oh, that that got me. Oh, he's good. Oh, yep. There, there we go. Yep. And uh, teleport back in because uh, <laughs> he doesn't know where uh, where we are. So that happens occasionally uh, when you activate the uh, Cerberus guy over here, the the uh, gunner takes the attention of your AI, and away they go, uh, gallivanting across the uh, universe, uh, looking on and looking for ways how to uh, um, how to attack that enemy. But then the Queen's Knight Reborn gets a little confused, and he's not quite sure um, how to deal with that. We've seen that in the past a couple times. It's uh, pretty interesting. Um, I wish it would happen uh, more often. Uh, or that there would be a way to um, actually uh, a mark of honor from this guy. How cool. Uh, so now maybe that guy will run away if Mia doesn't kill him. Uh, she's going to kill him. Okay, so I don't know. Um, that's, a, that's a fun little uh, trivia tidbit there about these guys as they, um, they kind of do some goofy stuff. Don't worry. You've got this one. But now that Mia's here with us... Um, we're still probably going to die, but um, uh, we're going to give it our best. And you can see that dark gifting versus this guy uh, can be pretty difficult um, if you're if you're trying for um, a straight up dark gifting um, setup. Ok, 
Okay, let's go ahead and heal. Sorry, my brain kind of stopped there for a second. Oh, there's the uh, double spin that uh, is uh, unblockable for us. Oh boy, where is he? Okay, he's doing that, so it gives us time to do this and heal. Okay, and now he's doing the uh, bad uh, part of the uh, fight here as he has a uh, leak on his uh, self. Um, so we're in a bad way. Okay. Okay, now we have at least enough Icor to uh, do uh, to heal me up. Okay, and uh, let's get a uh, slash on him there. Okay. Oh, there's a double, the double spin. Come on, Mia. Whoop. Let's go ahead and heal. Okay. Let's get a slam. Oh boy. Oh no, I'm dead. <sighs> Why did he have to block right there at the end? We had him one more Jupiter's Blade and he would have been gone. <sighs> it's unfortunate when that happens. But, uh, yeah. When he does that block, uh, it's an instant kill. Well, at least for us uh, running the Ivory Grace. <laughs> uh, even though it is a, it is a really good um, Blood Veil, it, uh, it definitely suffers, uh, as you can tell, in the uh, defense arena. And against somebody like the uh, Queen's Knight Reborn, where he does massive, massive damage um, in, in a very few attacks, um, and he has a lot of unblockables, and he has a lot of AoEs, and he has a lot of the double dash uh, defense structures built in. Uh, he can be he can be very very difficult. Okay, so Mia's off again, uh, going after that other lost gunner. So uh, we probably won't have her again in the fight here, which will be a problem. Uh, it'll be a real problem. So let's go ahead and uh, get her communal going. And the other gifts. Uh, her ball just. Uh, flew over to us. That's very interesting. Okay. Oh, she's back. How wonderful. Now she does pierce damage, which is not what you want to be doing. There's a double spin. He is dead already. This is uh, looking fantastic. Okay. Okay, Sands of Depravity. That should get some good damage on him. Okay, go for a volatile storm and a sand of depravity. Oh, there's the double spin. Thank you, Mia. You're beautiful. Let's go ahead and heal. Okay, let's go for a slash. And we'll get some Icor back. Well, that was dangerous. Okay, go for all the things. Now Mia's doing uh, pierce damage, which is definitely not what you want to be doing, but she's doing it anyways. Okay. Okay, we'll go for a volatile storm. So you can see that these uh, gifts do uh, very, very good damage to him because if they're all slashy gifts. Oh, there's the double spin. Okay, we'll go for a volatile storm. That was a good time to go for it. Okay. Hmm. His uh, swinging strikes are so wide. Oof. Okay, so this is why Dark Gifters um, have to play um, specifically into a uh, boss's weaknesses every time because if you don't uh, you get to the point where um, you just can't uh, you just can't do enough damage uh, quickly enough so if you play into their strengths or into some of their semi weaknesses 
uh, where you can do like half damage and things, uh, it still doesn't um, allow you the opportunity to do the, the damage you need to to win the fight. Okay, so 42, that's good. And this guy, uh, since we farm up on him a little bit with a couple of uh, backstabs and such, uh, we have the chance of getting a, a, an Argent Wolf brand off of him, as well as some other cool things. Yep, you got it, Mia. Okay. And there we go. And we'll go for the, the um, other consumables here. Now, uh, in the event of the fight, uh, the reason I'm not using them in the fight, typically, is because if I have the chance to use a uh, gift or a... Um, or a um, uh, consumable, I'm definitely going to go for the uh, for the uh, gift or the um, the other gift, or I'm going to heal. I'm not going to go for a consumable. Oh boy! There we go. Oh, I'm I'm dead. Okay, let's heal. Okay. Good. And a Sands of Depravity. And a Jupiter's Blade. And uh, maybe another Volatile Storm. No. Okay, let's go for more Icor then. There we go. Okay, here he is. Let's wait for him to figure out what he's doing. Okay, Volatile Storm. Oh, he's too far away. Oh, there's the double. We're dead. Oh, Mia. So you saved the day. Oh boy, there's the double. <sighs> Those doubles are just the worst. Just the worst. Mm. So, uh, apologies to one third of my audience who is female as you're watching uh, the females get decimated here. Um, it is, uh, it is definitely a sad day when that happens, um, but, uh, <laughs> but that's, uh, how it goes with the Queen's Knight Reborn. Uh, you either, uh, have a really good fight or you, uh, get one-shotted. Uh, and since, uh, we're, we're here at this level, I mean, it doesn't even matter, uh, what we're paired up and what we're doing, uh, we're just always getting bopped around the arena. Okay, 42, that'll be... That'll be plenty for us to uh, head on in here. Okay. Now, uh, fighting the Queen's Knight Reborn is always a uh, final reality check uh, before you get into the government center proper uh, to face off against Silva and the enemies in there. Uh, it's kind of a, uh, are you sure you really know what you're doing and have you learned enough to be effective uh, in the government center? So he's a, he's a good fight uh, because it's making you think that it's something you fought before when in reality it's not. There's the double, and we're dead in one hit all the time. Thank you, Mia. Oh. Well, that was a quick uh, and painful death. But I'm taking frequent water breaks here, so I guess there's a plus side to that. Uh, so yeah, anytime you go for that double uh, attack, it's just awful uh, because you have to do two perfectly timed dodges um, or block them. And if you block them uh, and you're light enough, he'll knock you down um, and, and it's just not a good time. Okay, so we'll skip the Argent Wolf guy. So our run back is a little bit shorter. I wish this was the run back on the successor of the throat, but uh, it's not. <laughs> Now, uh, the reason that double spin is so awful, because if uh, you're positioned correctly, you can, you can miss all together. Whoops. But see, any... Uh, up. Oh, there's the double. After a, after a speed attack. Okay. We are uh, getting bullied here pretty good. At 
least he's not doing the, the three um, uh, slash combo. Okay, let's heal. Not that it matters. Okay, let's get Mia back. Okay, let's go for a volatile storm. There's the double, and we were far enough away that it uh, didn't hit us. Oh boy, here's the double. There it is. Thank you, Mia. I got you if you die. Thank you. I'll heal. Oh, I tried to do double. Uh, so he's getting us uh, with that double spin um, uh, most effectively. And he just put the sword right through Mia's heart. Oh, it's painful to watch. Painful to watch. Okay. We will get through it, though. Uh, and uh, looks like we did okay. Um, running uh, simply just straight the run back here instead of uh, stopping off for the Argent Wolf Berserk, or the, the Argent Wolf Soldier there. The Cerberus guy. Uh, so we, uh, you can see that uh, Hunter, um, if we would switch to a different blood code, um, we could do an, an, an inordinate amount of uh, damage from our Dark Gifts, but because Hunter is uh, running uh, simply at a willpower of A and a, a Dark Gift of 1154, um, we, just, we just don't have the uh, damage output of, afforded to us to uh, put all that damage on him at range. But we do uh, pretty good damage. Okay. Oh boy. That was okay. Let's go for a volatile storm. There's the double. Let's go for Sands of Depravity. Oh, he hit us. So we're dead. Of course. Okay. Okay, and let's go ahead and fill up on Ikor here while we can. There we go, and let's heal. Okay, Volatile Storm. And a Sands of Depravity, since he's uh, staggered over there for a second. Okay. Whoa. Ooh, we got the uh, change in elevation. That was awesome. That's always a, a fun thing to get. Oh, now we're dead. We got the uh, sword to the face. That's never fun. Let's go ahead and heal. Okay, let's go for a, a volatile storm over there. Okay, please don't kill Mia. Okay, okay, he's gonna kill me instead almost. Let's go ahead and heal. Here's the double. There we go, let's get out of the leak. Oh, I couldn't see. Oh, Mia. I'm sorry. I'm dead. Yep, too late. She was in the healing animation. Oh, no. So once we get past the uh, leak phase there, um, he goes into a several teleports uh, back to back to back. So you have to have enough stamina to be able to make it through there. So you do a lot less um, running around and a, a lot more just standing and waiting and watching. Uh, but if the uh, events happen in a quick succession, um, back to back, where uh, you've done a dodge already, and then he goes for a dodge, or he goes for an attack after um, you've already done the dodge, there's nothing you can do. You're, you're stuck locked into the dodge animation, and, uh, and it's an instant death. Oh, good, we got the change, eleva change in elevation. Oh, and then we got the uh, sword in the face. And Mia's... Uh, oh, man. Mia, it's not your fault. Okay. Now, since he's going to do that, we can get some uh, free damage on him here. Okay. Let's 
go ahead and heal. Okay. Okay, let's go for a volatile storm. And we're dead. <sighs> That's the problem, is that if you take one small hit of any kind, it's an instant death. So that's the that's the problem with the Ivory Grace, is that it uh, has you know basically zero defenses in the uh, later game. But if we go for um, twelve, twelve, we can go for the uh, the fortified and get uh, one more defense <laughs> on each of our uh, on each of our um, stats there. So that uh, that's why um, this Blood Veil is kind of uh, not used um, for doing any kind of defensive run, but now we can't use the Blazing Claw, but we can still run the, uh, the, uh, Riot Breaker. As far as, uh, um, sp speed goes, quick mobility and such. Okay. Now we're ready? Well, I don't know about that, Mia. But this guy is, uh, quite the interesting boss, as he is one of them that, uh, is he is one of them that uh, can be extremely difficult in this fashion. Oh. Okay. Or he can be extremely easy. Oh, Mia. No way. Okay, let's go ahead and heal while he's staggered. Okay. I don't know what I was stuck on there, but that was odd. Okay. And and we'll go for a volatile storm. Oh good. Sands of depravity. Okay. And we'll go for this and an I a, a drain activator. Okay. Okay, good. There we go. Oh. Okay, caught us on the second on the second spin. Um so yeah. <laughs> uh Hunter is a fairly uh, fairly okay um blood code. It's kind of a uh, generic and everything, and it doesn't really excel at any one doing? particular thing. However, um, from the from the list here, uh, you get some really, really, really great um, uh, active and passive buffs off of this. You get um, flame spike, which is pretty good uh, ranged light gift. You get ranged impact is a 50% bonus uh, for bayonets or shooting. Uh, hunting feast is a 50% increase to your um, drain attack, blood sacrifice, uh, you just ca almost can't win anything of the one-shot builds uh, without it, and uh, so it's it's definitely a code that you want to run early in the game as it uh, grants a whole lot of uh, really, really good um, uh, bonuses for the player. No, not really. Okay, let's go, man. We got this. Now remember, our uh, gun is, uh, the Riot Breaker is not for uh, doing damage to this guy, uh, we want to be doing not really a whole lot of damage from our weapon, we want to be doing it from our gifts. Okay. Oh, goodness. Stay away from Mia. Let me heal. There we go. There we go. And if I can get his attention here, maybe he'll stay away from Mia. Good. Volatile storm on him. That might stagger him out of uh, attacking her. Good. We'll go for a Jupiter's Blade. Okay. And let's get some high core. Oh boy. Okay. And a Sands of Depravity. Good. Good timing for it. And let's get some high core. Okay, and a Volatile Storm. Good. Okay. Okay. 
Now, uh, Jupiter's Blade is um, only a uh, 5 Icor cost, so it's uh, very good in that sense that it's uh, it's a lot of damage um, for not a lot of uh, Icor spent. Oh, there's the double spin. Okay, let's go ahead and heal. Okay. And where is he? He's going after Mia. Okay. Oh boy. Oof. That was for me? No way. Uh, come on. Oof. He's going for the shield bash. Okay, good. We'll go for a volatile storm on this. Now we definitely need uh, some i uh, And we're leaking, so that's bad. Oh, uh, where is he? Uh, okay, we need some i bad. As, uh... Okay. Oh my goodness, I can't even see what's going on. Oh, now we're leaking. It's even horrible. Okay. I think we just have to uh, wait out the uh, leak here, uh, unfortunately, uh, with with uh, this horrible setup that's going on. Oh boy, we're dead. Oh, we're not dead. Oh, let's heal. Just don't hit Mia. No. Oh. Whoa. Okay. All right. Mia's got us with the uh, blood-sucking blades here, so we're good. Okay. At least we have enough I-Core to heal Mia. Oh boy. There he is. Okay. Uh, that's okay, Mia. Oh boy. Whew. I got the two time dodges, which is great. Oh, didn't get it that time. Oh boy. Oh. Let's go ahead and heal. Oh boy. No. <laughs> no. Mia's standing there. Looking at him. Oh. Okay. That leak hurt us really bad since we couldn't get any more Jupiter's Blades out. And, uh. Whew. My heart's starting to pound now. Okay, um, whew, I thought we had it there, I thought we, I really did think we had it, I mean, we were so close, uh, just a couple of more Jupiter's Blades, I was trying to get a couple of attacks in there to, uh, get more i and, uh, just wasn't having it. Okay, let's go ahead and, uh, get these going, and get these going, that's right, Mia, let's go. Alright, so a little more patience, uh, will go a long way with this guy instead of uh, charging in like that. And me is dead. I'm dead. There we go. Okay. Let's go for a volatile storm. Oh, too far away. Okay, another volatile storm. Good, and a Jupiter's Blade. Good. Oh, what? He got both of us in one shot. Oh, oh come on. Come on, I just want to beat this guy with slash gifts. So, uh, you can also go for Aurora Flash, as that um, is uh, his other weakness, is ice. And that is the only ice uh, slashing gift in the game. And this is the only boss that, uh, well, not the only boss, but one of the only bosses that uh, takes uh, good damage from Ice Slash. The other one is the successor of the throat. Do we have this one, Mia? I'm not so sure. We'll see here. But both Mia and I take uh, about one hit kills um, on any time he damages us. 
So, uh, which is why this is such a difficult fight, um, because uh, you're constantly having to manage, um, you know, what's your timing window for your gifts. Because if you're too early or too late, oh boy, we're dead. We're dead. Oh, good grief. Ugh. Let's move my legs a little bit. Okay, what's our time looking like here? Uh, 55 minutes, this is bad. Okay, we're going to beat him before one hour. Here we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. Uh, so the Queen's Knight Reborn, again, he's not... He's not a difficult fight. He's just a difficult fight for very um, uh, specific builds and setups. Uh, because in the event that, uh, for example, Hunter has uh, 233, so it's a kind of a middle of the road uh, stamina build, stamina code. Um, so if you want to go for something more stamina heavy, you would go for an Ishtar uh, build against him and go for something light, uh, light slashing like the uh, Burning Disaster, something like that. Okay. Oh. Yep, let's go ahead and heal because he's going to kill Mia. Oops, that was premature. Oh well, oh well. I hope it helped Mia. There we go. Okay. Okay, let's go for Sands of Depravity. Okay. Wow, he is just on this crazy rampage here. Okay, we got the change in elevation. That was cool. Let's go for gifts here while we can. Oh, and he flattened me somehow. Whatever. Uh, at this point, it's just whatever. Okay. Go for a volatile storm on him since he's in the in the area there. Okay. Good dodge, Mia. Okay, we got the two perfect dodges there. And you see our range on our um, <laughs> on our weapon is extremely short. Um, let's go ahead and get some I-Core here. Okay, let's go for... Oh boy. Yep, we're dead. Thanks, Mia. You kept the dream alive for one more second. Oh man, he puts it right through her, right through her chest. It's just ridiculous. Ugh, he just has no mercy. Well, there goes the one hour mark uh, pretty soon here, so. <laughs> oh man, this guy is just extremely difficult. Okay, here we go for attempt number 4,536. Um, yeah, he is not an easy boss uh, to say the least for uh, the build we have going on here, since we have uh, very long uh, animation setups, except for Jupiter's Blade. But uh, the Sands of Depravity and um, Volatile Storm are very fun uh, adventuring gifts. As you saw, the majority of this episode is going to be just fighting this guy. And there's the double, of course. And let's go ahead and get Mia back. Okay. Okay. Oh, here's the double. Oh, we dodged it. Okay, let's go for a Volatile Storm, and a Sands of Depravity, good. Nope, we're dead. 
Thank you, Mia. You're a, you're a gem. You are a real gem. Okay. And uh, let's go for a volatile storm. Okay, let's see what he's going to do next. Okay, a volatile storm. Oh boy. Okay. Wow, where'd he come from? Mia, yeah. thank you. Okay, let's go for a Sands of Depravity while he's doing that nonsense. Good, he's staggered. We'll go for this. And this. Okay, and we have no I course, so uh we need to get out of there. Oh, come on. Let's go ahead and heal. Okay. Oh, come on. Goodness. <sighs> Alright. We've seen enough. We've seen enough. Time to end it. <sighs> My will is broken. I get it, Queen's Night Reborn. Every time we get here. Every time we get here. Time to just call it a night. This file's already gonna be 10,000 gigs to upload. Uh, so we're just gonna... Watch yourself out there. Yep. Uh, don't worry, Jack. I'm gonna watch myself. Uh, so we go this, and... Now, it, uh, it pains me to do this, but, uh, you know, it's just gotta be done. Uh, because, uh, we don't have all night to just sit here and, What's uh, dilly-dally around with this guy. Uh, so here we go. This is what we do. And we go for lightning. Yeah, oops, and ice, and a gift accelerator, and uh, it's over. <laughs> so, this is a real problem. Um, this is a real problem with uh, running, uh, you know, certain gifts and certain builds. That uh, I know I'm breaking the rule here that uh, I'm not allowed to uh, do things other other than with Mido and the Argent Wolf King, uh, but uh, this just has to be done. It just has to be done. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm, uh, you know, I'm just uh, not skilled. <laughs> okay. There we go. One and two. Ice and three. And uh, I'll go for Steadfast Strike. This and this and this. Okay, and that's the uh, Queen's Knight Reborn. So, yeah, it's a little bit disappointing, uh, unfortunate, but uh, that's just the way it is. Uh, sometimes you just uh, gotta pull out the big guns, and this is where Code Vein and its adaptability uh, shine the brightest, is doing something like this, where um, you go and 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 you try and you try and you try and you just can't get past something. A little bit of switch up and a little bit of adaptability and a little bit of change to how you uh, go about approaching things and uh, the game just uh, opens up in front of you and welcomes you with open arms so uh, unfortunately we had to pull the uh, trump card on this but you know it's getting late and i need to get some sleep so uh, we'll just uh, we'll just call it that way <laughs> But uh, I do enjoy the uh, giant slashing sand uh, dark gifts uh, simply because of the fact that they um, simply because they have giant, giant, giant AOE and they don't have any um, uh, elemental uh, damage of, uh, associated with them. So it doesn't matter what enemy you're coming up against; they always do uh, the same amount of damage. Uh, however, they they um, 
uh, they they do uh, what am I trying to say? They do damage uh, based on uh, weapon typing. They don't do damage based on element element type. Even so if you have enemies that are weak against down. slash, but they have some kind of uh, element resistance, um, and you're trying to do like let's say Aurora Flash and they resist ice, um, then uh, you know you can use something like. Um, you can use something like uh, Volatile Storm or Sands of Depravity and do really, really good damage versus them uh, regardless. So that's kind of why these gifts are so good and why they are used in, in uh, a lot, a lot of places, um, simply because of the fact that they... Um, now this actually pairs really nicely with our outfit, the Judgment Edge. Sorry, I just had to notice that real quick. Um, but uh, that's why they can be used in such great and diverse ways, simply because of the fact that... Uh, that they um, do uh, regular damage no matter um, no matter it's what cool uh, no matter what enemy you're against. So the only thing you'd have to worry about is their weapon typing. Oops. Okay, so that brings us to the uh, government center proper, and uh, we'll go ahead and heal up here. And uh, so I hope you en enjoyed the slaughter there, uh, getting bopped around again by the uh, Queen's Knight Reborn. We're gonna see uh, how close we can get on uh, on one shots with the uh, Argent Wolf King uh, on the next episode. So uh, that that fight should go fairly quick, uh, simply because for Dark Casters, uh, we'll do one run with Dark, and uh, we'll see about that. But uh, we'll explain all that in the next episode. So thank you everyone for watching. Uh, thank you for your patience, and uh, for everyone who's um, enjoying the channel and subscribing and you know commenting and everything. You know it just means the world and. Uh, and it's just a lot, a lot, a lot of fun to have this hobby and uh, doing this with all of you by my side. So thank you all, and we'll see you in the next one.